Can a frozen pizza that costs twelve dollars actually be good? Hey there and welcome back to Snackable. Today on Snackable, it's Oscars night. I'm super excited. I want Oppenheimer to win. And I hope I'm not dating myself too much by, by saying that. I mean, nobody else will date me. But it's Oscars night. What are you going to do? You're going to sit at home in your pajamas watching the Oscars and eating pizza. And we actually have a new pizza to try. It's a margarita pizza from Augie. Um, it's specifically Sapori the Augie. Augie? Augie? I was really drawn to this when I was walking through the frozen aisle, and I said, this looks like a restaurant. The picture draws me in, and if it looks that good, then it's a game changer, and I'll forgive the $12.69 that it costs. That's a game changer. It might be better than DiGiorno, you know? It might be better than any of the frozen pizzas that they have that exist. If it's better, I'm all for it. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Um, it says it has rising air pockets, you know? Those are cool. Uh, but it's made with premium tomato sauce, real mozzarella, homemade pesto. Pesto on a pizza is fantastic. If you've never had it, trust me, it's really, really good. And fresh Fior di Latte cheese. You know, it's important to have. And of course, we're going to be making this in the oven. This isn't going to be a microwave thing. Come on, we can't just do that with everything. You got to preheat the oven to 450 degrees, defrost the pizza for 10 minutes while the oven is preheating, remove pizza from all the packaging, place pizza directly onto the middle of the oven rack, and then you're going to bake for 18 to 20 minutes. Um, I'm going to check it after 10 so I don't burn it. But let's crack this pizza open and see what it's like. Come on. Oh my gosh. This is a really, really strong box. I'm not kidding. <laughs> it's good. This is the strongest boxes in the nation. Cool. Okay, all right, all right, here we go, here we go. It's already been defrosted, so um, forgive forgive the presentation. Uh, that's that's a pretty good looking pizza, and you can see the pesto on it as well. Um, you know, why not? But we're gonna go put this in the oven, and then we'll be right back to, you know, eat it. So I'll be honest with you, uh, it's not the greatest looking pizza that I've ever seen, but it smells fantastic. It, it, it smells as good as the box looks. Um, this is just a little less poofy, you know? Maybe if I had left it in a few minutes, but pizza is just very, very difficult sometimes. You leave it in an extra minute too long and it's just completely black. I don't, I don't know why it, it works like that, but it does. Look at that, a beautiful slice. Smells delicious. Um, I'm really excited to try it. Pesto on a pizza is just fantastic. If you haven't tried it, please try it. Mm. The bottom of that is just like it was in a stone oven. <laughs> mm. But is it worth $12? Let me just say this. It does remind me an awful lot of some of the like quick service pizzas that you get at some Disney resort hotels. Um, delicious, you know, I'd eat it, you know, in the room. And it's, it was it was great, but like, is it worth $12? In Disney, sure, in my own house. It's not worth $12.69. It's good, don't get me wrong. Um, I'd give it a solid 8 out of 10. But for $12.69, you know, it doesn't, like, stand out. At 10 bucks, I think it'd be a great price for it. Um, man, you know, 8 out of 10 is fine, you know. But I think a pizza could easily be a 10 out of 10. Um, it's good, but my eyes thought it was going to be better. But as always, get this for yourself. See if you like it. Maybe you like it more than me. Maybe even less than me. I hope not. But 8 out of 10 is nothing to scoff at. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment down below what I should try next. Plenty of other foods to try. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I guess we'll have to see where we're eating next time. Bye.